Hey, this is Rich. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I wanted to show everybody uh, my freezing, my freezer situation with my Samsung refrigerator. It's a uh, model RF28 HMED BSR. Got it in 2015 from Lowe's. Samsung refuses to help me with the uh, freezing situation. Um, as you can see, I've sealed around the outside edges. Uh, and uh, done a little bit more, uh, or I, every so often I have to chisel out the uh, the ice. So this was all all this ice uh, right here was right up stuck in here because everything uh, freezes over, as you can see. Um, probably back in uh, October. So today's January thirtieth, uh, twenty nineteen. Back in uh, maybe October ish. Um, after years of having issues with this, uh, I, I went ahead and, and broke down and paid for Samsung service uh, to come out and um, install some type of device that Samsung knows about. The service guys were, were very open and honest. They said uh, they, were, they know that Samsung knows about the pro problems because uh, they give them the exact specific device to uh, help with the issue, which does help with it. It uh, it makes it so that things don't freeze over as fast. Uh, but we probably go through this at least once a month, if not twice a month, where uh, where things start to freeze over um, due to a real design flaw in uh, in their in their refrigerator. Um, as you can see. I've had to I've had to seal around the outside edges. It came unsealed, and uh, put some silicone around that. But everything this this whole this whole ice maker is just absolutely horrible. Samsung doesn't stand behind their product. I've called. I've been on phone on the phone with Samsung numerous numerous times. They know that I that I'm uh, disappointed with uh, with their product. But they just don't stand behind it. I had to pay uh, like four hundred dollars, I think, uh, all said and done, to to have that service done last year because I was out of warranty. And anyway, uh, it was fun. Interestingly, or or funny, however you may look at it, is a couple of years ago I actually got my finger stuck in there um, way back trying to remove some of the ice, and uh, I had to. Uh, I almost had to call the fire department. I I ended up. Um, slicing my finger open removing my finger uh without having to call the fire department thankfully but um i had considered uh you know some type of uh you know pro possibly calling an, an attorney or something but i decided against it which well, just wasn't that big of an issue uh i guess uh but this you know this constant issue of the freezing over and samsung not standing behind their product there's thousands of people on their website that know, uh, or that that also complain about the same thing. There's there's YouTube videos about it, which is what I'm doing right now, and uh, just wanted to show everybody what I do. So, sorry, uh, it's taken so long, but I have this sweet old uh, <clears throat> screwdriver my dad gave to me a long time ago, Husky, and uh, it's nice and long, so I can go ahead and shave. All that off of there. Sorry. Shave that off of there. Get work in there. And chisel away. The hard part is this corner way back here. Just uh, freezes over a lot faster. So by the end of this, I'll have everything clean, and it'll make ice for another couple weeks, or maybe if we're lucky, a month, and we'll 
I'll have to do this over again. And, you know, I know it's a first world problem and, you know, it's, we don't all have ice makers, but then again, we paid for our product and we should get a working product. And uh, Samsung, again, they are not standing behind their product. They're not doing a good job for their customers. Samsung, shame on you.